Well, and civil cases continue for a swimming pool company that has gone under. Dozens of customers are claiming losses, which total almost $4 million. Six News first exposed the alleged deceptive business practices of premier pools and spas. Tonight, Mike McKnight shows us how one customer has fought for and won a measure of justice. As Six on Your Side investigates. Since November, Clark Cheney says his efforts to retrieve a fiberglass shell from premier pools and spas have been emotionally and financially draining with a transport crew he hired turned away last month. It's mine, and they've told me it's mine, but they won't let me go on the property to get it. But proving to a judge they paid $35,000 for the pool shell, the Cheneys got a court order to get it. And late last week, their dream of summer fun finally arrived. Relief now that it's here. It's been a battle. The 3,500 pound fiberglass pool shell is lifted from the trailer and a crew from Patriot Transport Services swings into action. They slowly and carefully place it in a hole dug in Clark and Deb Cheney's backyard. Well, the hole's been there since before Thanksgiving, so yeah, it has been a really long saga. One that should have a happy ending with the help of Jared Matoka of Laguna Pools, who heard about the Cheney situation through Six On Your Side reports. The positive is we've got this, the main component here for them at their house, on their property, without any damage, and they'll be swimming real soon. Jared says he's helping finish pools for about a dozen former customers of Premier Pools and Spas. Now their shell is set, the Cheney should be enjoying their pool about May 1st, but they'll be the first to tell you this whole process has been like swimming upstream. The Cheney's alleged Premier Pools and Spas still owe them about $45,000 for work not done. Company President Aaron Stanger faces a half dozen theft by deception charges on other unfinished pool projects. Nothing, no comment. Back at the Cheney's, the newly delivered pool won't be empty for long, but part of their garage is already full of a head scratcher. When workers from Premier Pools and Spas dug the hole last November, Clark says they never came back and left the skid loader behind. Definitely a mystery, no idea. Right now, I will check with Kubota and see if there's a repo man looking for it. When they can put the pool ordeal behind them, the Cheneys say then they can finally relax and enjoy it. I'd like to get you yeah. in May by May 1st. On your side near Plattsmouth, Mike McKnight, 6 News. And Cheney says he's hit a dead end on finding anyone who will claim the skid loader. He's reluctant to sell it and possibly get entangled in the pool company's legal issues. The equipment will stay in his garage until he gets an answer, though he may charge rent for storing it. Baseball.